What's up, crypto family? So yesterday I had made a post on my Twitter account with uh, a screenshot of earlier of last year when I was speaking about the whole Mr. Beast. A lot of you guys didn't even, I thought you guys knew, you know, after I dropped that video, you know, last year. But yeah, Mr. Beast was contributing Elon to pay for Mr. Beast burgers to people in New York, Florida, and uh, some other states as well. So Mr. Beast, of course, he holds Elon, okay? Now, I, it may be surprising to some people, but you know, he can afford a trillion tokens or 10 trillion tokens. He could afford that. Now, with the price, it was at six zeros and we were sitting at the high four thousands. Right now, we're sitting at the low thousand, 1600s right now, okay? We were touching the 2000s. So I'm just giving you guys a glimpse of knowing, like, you know, we were sitting at the high four thousands. And I remember, you know what I'm saying? Uh, earlier last year in January, it was very bloody. I believe it was 23 or 22, year 22. I believe it was 2022 in January when it dipped down below five zeros and we're sitting at 800 and I was like I was I put down six hundred dollars on top of Elon you know what I'm saying and they kept on retracing so you know all of us we wasn't chasing the green candles but we know that you know we were buying the dip we don't know how low it will go but we were purchasing so everybody goes through that all right so with that being said with us knowing that you know Elon was sitting at five zeros. We have not touched nine zeros. And that's that's what you guys have to understand. So I was doing some research, right? I haven't been on Etherscan in a, bit, in a minute. But uh, someone probably already covered this, but I'm going to get on to this one right here. So I was looking. And on Etherscan on the top holders, I was seeing that the Olympus Mun, all right? The Olympus Mun. There's seven, seven holders, all right? Each of them has a number of them. So there's Olympus Mun 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And they all hold 7 trillion. Now, I don't believe it's Doglon Mars, their affiliates, that are holding it. I don't believe so. I really do believe it's the people behind Ogalon. Probably. That could be a major. Probably. Or it could be the investors that does not want their name to be put out and they put it as Olympus Muns. But they all hold seven trillion. Seven trillion. So you got some other wallet above it holds about, you know, seven trillion three hundred and one billion tokens. And then you go up, gateio.5, Uniswap, and then another address. So it's like, there's no telling of who holds it. But you have to understand this. We have a market cap of what? $136 million? $136 million hasn't been pulled. I remember Squid Game, it had a high, what? It was up to 140 billion, not even. And then, you know, after that year, they were like, forget it. We're going to rug it and took everything. So Dogalon has a whole different approach and it's here to stay and it's going for the long run. So even though that you already put a thousand dollars into Dogalon when we were at the low thousands and some people may have thought we were break another break into a seven zeros but we didn't so you're gonna you're gonna make that money back you're definitely gonna make that money back and you're not the only one who has been holding okay now of course we've been getting more new partnerships and solana and with us partnering with solana i believe it's also we're, we're getting on so many layers elon we're getting onto so many layers into this year and i believe they already had that planned okay 
Now, someone asked me, and they were like, well, hey, Brown, so, you know, you posted all this, and uh, where can we get that information? All you have to do is look up uh, Zoid Pay. They were using Zoid Pay. Mr. Beast was using Zoid Pay to purchase the burgers, but he was using Elon to purchase the burgers. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. If high influential celebrities are using this token, even though a lot of people may not know about this token, a lot of people is going to be lost in the sauce. They're going to be lost. But that what just got me. You know what I'm saying? From number 15 to number 22, they all hold $7 trillion. $7 trillion. And I don't believe it's Dogen Lamar's wallets because they don't control it. They don't control the tokens. You understand what I'm saying? E, uh, Vitalik sent such and such to Methuselah. And of course, Methuselah still holds, but another you know, group holds some as well. So I really don't believe it's any of those. I believe it's some individuals, high influential individuals who hold that, hold those bags each, seven trillion. Honestly, family, like seven trillion, you like you just need it to go up to uh let's see. You just need that to go up to five zeros in the high two thousands. You tri quadrupled your money. Now each wallet it's a million dollars. A million, $178,933 in those wallets. A million. So you guys got to really think. A million dollars. And you're thinking this token is just going to deflate and not go anywhere. It may come to a point. I might, I might just be like, you know what? There's times where I do want to just, you know, forget the YouTube and whatnot. Because honestly, I know I hold a gem. I hold other digital assets, but I do hold a gem that is going to have generational wealth for me and my family. And for the holders that have been watching me, you guys are going to have generational wealth, financial freedom. That's the key. That's the reason why I started these, these videos is because we're here for one thing, financial freedom. We're not here for the gossip. We're not here for all the other crap. We're here for financial freedom. Give me the news. Let me know what's going on. Let me know. I mean, I can't really let you know, but basically that I'm holding an investment that not just only me that I'm holding, but a majority of other community members are holding big bags. And even if you're not holding big bags, if you're just holding half a billion, you're good. You're good. You know what I'm saying? There's no shade on anybody else of what bags they're holding. But as long as you're accumulating, accumulate. But it's real hard. It's getting real hard. The economy is getting real crazy, you know, and then all you see on the whole Twitter is just nonsense to blur your vision of what's really happening. And it's just crazy how the SEC is just playing. Oh, we may not approve the Bitcoin ETF or we highly suggested that we may approve the Bitcoin ETF. No, they're playing you guys. They playing you guys. What? What makes you think that they're not going to damn approve the damn Bitcoin ETF? They're so stupid. And another thing is this. You go in Publix. They got their self-checkout line. They are not using cash. Publix self-checkout line is not using cash. Okay? Walmart is getting to the point where they're about to start doing it. They're, they're accepting cash, but they got some registers, self-checkout lines, that does not accept cash. They're just using credit card. I went at BJ's the other day. They have a robot walking around checking inventory. What? So artificial intelligence, we already knew that's going to be here and it's here. We already know digital currency is going to be here and it's here. They're going to implement it. They're going to implement it. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do while we're holding, like what Robbie Kiyosaki say, while we're holding and saving cash and thinking our house is an asset. Really, it's not. Don't shoot the messenger. That's what he said. And I do believe it. I do believe it because you know what I'm saying? Like, our assets is digital currency. If it's not digital currency, it's gold and silver. It's gold and silver. 
That should like clear up everything. If you're not holding gold, if you're not holding silver, then hey, I know you're holding some, uh, what do you call it? Digital assets. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna lie to you. I just show you the way it is. But you know, I got a little jar with a whole bunch of different receipts, but I ain't hiding nothing. You see all this, all these stuff in here, all those coins. Some of them was a lot of silver. You understand? And I collect coins. That's just one of my little pickle jar buckets that I have there. But I keep my lot of receipts in there. But the point where I'm coming from is I hold things that I know is going to be valuable. There was a time with the whole COVID situation that they said, we are not accepting change. We're not accepting change. What do you guys not see that's unfolding in front of us? They're not, they're not going to be accepting change. So I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Because they know something that I don't know. I know that digital currency is going to be it. But I know these coins are going to be valuable. You understand what I'm saying? I take things that I know is valuable, not as a hoarder, but something that I could just you know put it to the side. But I could hoard a whole lot of digital assets on my ledger. So it's not going to make a mess. It's not going to be you know cluttered. I like my ledger to be cluttered of a whole bunch of different digital assets. So once again, man, just think about what I said, man. BJ's already got a robot that's walking, not walking around, but sliding around, checking inventory. Publix is not accepting cash in the self-checkout lines. Don't tell me you haven't been seeing this. I was making posts where some gas stations is only accepting credit cards. Because they're, what they were doing is, they had at the pump, you can use a card, to pay, they're trying to see how much people use the card to pay for the gas or they're going to walk inside the gas station and pay for the gas. It's already coming in play. It was in your face in plain sight. And nobody was really noticing. Nobody was really noticing. They were, they were doing this back in 1990. Take that back. Yeah, 1990s. They were doing that. So digital currency is already in play. Whatever Gary Gensler is trying to do, he can't. He's following protocol. He's following protocol of what's in the book, of what the people before him, his uh, processor, everybody before him. He's just going by the book. He already know. He's playing this. He is. They have a book where you're playing with people minds. You're playing with people minds. And then, like you're manipulating them, they're they're, they're 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 leaving it down for him and for everybody else. Because as you guys know, what we watch on TV is mind control. It's mind control. So they're trying to mind control you. I'm saying, well, hey, you know, we ain't gonna really do this. Oh, crypto is not really this. They know it's gonna be this, but they are so used to and going by the book of, yeah, we're gonna manipulate you and mind control you. Okay, now it's in play. Now I was in play. Now a lot of people ain't got their bags in order. Now you, you know what I'm saying. So just pay attention, family. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next video.